welcome back my friends and this video will be taking a look at how you can create a react app with the service workers so uh, as i mentioned in my video uh, in my jsx transform video in that react scripts 4 or create react app 4 has actually they don't provide your service worker again so if i was to create a react app before i also get a service worker.js file and that was actually a direct service worker for me so if i registered it it actually my app uh, had the ability to run offline so right now we don't have that ability we don't have that service worker.js file with create react app 4 but we have a solution for that so let's create a react app so so I am inside of my terminal and I will enter a directory for myself okay then I am inside of my desired directory and what I can do here is I can create a react app so let's just create one npx create dash react dash app and then let's name my app so I'm gonna name it my dash app and what you can name it whatever you want now if you want that um, you know the pwa thing you want that service worker so in that case you can just say dash dash template and then you can just add cra dash template dash pwa so that is going to generate a pwa template for your react app that you're going to create so this is going to take some time so let's just quit this process right over here So just take a look i have a react app right over here on this side so in this react app now if you if you run that command and if you generate a react app in the src folder you will get two files one of them will be service dash worker.js and one of them will be service worker registration.js and if i open up the index.js file so let it open up and in this index.js file what you'll see is you'll have this service worker registration dot register and you'll have these comments so this is what you will have and you are going to import this import star as service worker registration from service worker registration so you need both of those files you also need the service dash worker dot js and service worker registration dot js um, and you're going to register the service worker with that service worker registration file so that is actually it now if you want it in typescript what you can do is you can just run the same command and you can add dash typescript to it so that is going to create oops that is going to create a that's going to create typescript project and it's going to give you ts files instead of js files and if you want uh, to convert an existing project i mean to get these files for an existing project i will have something for you in the description you can just check them out and then you can uh, maybe it will be the code or what you can do is you can just go to any repository that has this kind of thing so if i just open this up so what you can do is you can maybe go to my max to do repository you can go to the src folder right over here and you can get both of these files if i just open them up in an, in a new tab you can just copy all of the code all of the code and then create those two service worker files and then paste that paste that in and then in the index.js you can just register your service workers like so so that's it for this video guys i hope you like it i hope it helped you to give your react app a service worker even if you don't have it so finally thanks for watching